Hello all, welcome to SourceCAD tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to model a mechanical model here as a practice drawing and after practicing this drawing, you will be able to understand loft, press pull and extrude tools with clarity. So let's begin this model. Before starting this model, we will switch our workspace to AutoCAD 3D. So here on the workspace switching, go to 3D modeling. If you don't find this on your screen, click on this gear icon here and from here also you can switch to 3D modeling. Now after switching to 3D modeling we will start modeling this object. I will start from the base. So as you can see that in this base the length is 2.5 units and the entire width from this point to this point is 2 units. As indicated here so at first I'll make a rectangle with the given dimensions so select rectangle and it at the rate 2 comma 2.5 enter now here's the rectangle now I'll go ahead and make the circle now since we know that this entire width is 2 units that means the diameter of the circle is 2 unit so we need to make a circle from the center that joins this end point so there it is now I'll go ahead and make the section this one so for that select rectangle tool once again and make it somewhere outside you don't need to make it inside and select at the rate again the length of this rectangle here from this point to this point is 0.75 units and the width of this one is 0.5 units so I'll select the same dimensions here that is 0.75 length comma 0.5 okay so we are done with this now we'll make two circles from this end point from here and here these two circles form this part now I'll do the trim operation select trim enter and trim all these extra lines including the lines here okay now I'll join it so on the modify panel go to join and join it select it all and enter similarly repeat this process again for this also select all and enter now select move select your geometry and move it here now we are going to move this rectangle upwards to a distance of 0.35 units now why 0.35 units as you can see here that it is 0.5 units the complete diameter of this circle also the distance between the center and this line is 0.6 units so subtracting these two what we get the radius of this and this entire length that is 0.35 units so let's move it to 0.35 units now select any point and follow the z direction and enter 0.35 and press enter now we need to fill it this sharp edges so here we are not given the radius and in this case I'm going to assume that its radius is equal to the radius of the circle so since it is 0.25 I'm going to assume this radius as 0.25 as well so select fillet radius 0.25 enter and select multiple to repeat this command again and again okay so we are done here now go to 3d okay now let's move ahead to the press pull tool select press pull and select this geometry and we will press pull it downwards to a distance of 0.35 units since z direction upwards is positive so I need to enter negative minus 0.35 and press enter okay now we need to make the circle this circle with a radius of uh, half of 1.25 since its diameter is 1.25 so select this center here and D for diameter and a value of 1.25 and enter now we need to take this upwards to a height of 0 0.60 plus 0 0.35 since the height from this point to this point is 0 0.60 and the height from this to this is 0.35 so select move enter select it D 
take it upwards to 0 0.95 height okay we are done now we don't have a circle here also so we need to make one more circle with the same diameter of this the circle so I'll just select the center and join it with this select move and move it upwards to 0.35 units 0 0.35 enter okay okay so now you can see it's almost done so now let's go to loft select this then this circle and press enter twice you might not find any difference here so for that let's change our visual style to hidden and now you can see the difference only one thing remains that is the circle so let's go to circle again select this center and make a circle with a diameter of 0 0.75 units so let's first go to diameter and then 0 0.75 and enter here we are done and we need to make it now we need to cut it so select press pull select this portion take it down to any depth and click it and we are done to see the complete difference I suggest you change it to shaded view and turn this off see the difference so here we have our mechanical model thank you for watching have a nice day